In today's video, we're going to be learning how to do the studio reverb effect, otherwise known as the echo effect or the it's time effect. And we're doing it right now. So here I have an old project that I've been working on for the past few days and is the perfect video to add this effect. One, because it is hype and two, why not? So before we add the effect, this is what it sounds like. Go. We're looking for Barry, looking for Barry. He's got it. He's got it. Let's go. Big time. That wasn't a bad clip, but in the heat of the moment, there was so much emotion, it really needed a little bit of oomph to the vibe. So we're gonna add a studio reverb effect. So to avoid adding effects to every single clip individually, we're gonna use a technique and we're gonna use the audio track mixer. If you do not see the audio track mixer to your top left in the highlighted panel, you can go up to window and find audio track mixer and click it. When you click audio track mixer, this is what you're going to see originally. You wanna go up and find the top left arrow, click that, and then you're gonna find the channel that you want that effect on. And this brings me back to what I said before. To avoid adding effects to every individual channel, we're gonna use an entire track, an audio channel. So if you look down, we have audio one, two, three, four, and so forth. So we're gonna pick one of these channels that we're not using or we don't use often. If you do small time videos, you probably won't need too many audio channels. If you do gaming and high level editing, you might use a lot of these channels. So pick one that you probably won't use throughout your video. I have chosen to use channel four. So we're gonna click that, go to reverb, studio reverb, double click studio reverb, and it's gonna bring you this menu full of parameters. You can use a preset if you don't feel like putting your own parameters or you can change them yourself. What I like to do is to use a preset and then change it myself. So I'm using vocal reverb large and I wanna change my room size to 40. The decay is the amount of echo that you want. Generally, I like to use 3,500 to 4,000. So we're gonna use 4,100. We're gonna go all the way down to dry. I'm gonna put that to 40 or 39, somewhere in that little area. And we're gonna use wet to 79 to 80. Anywhere around that is perfect. We're gonna click the big red X and now that effect is on channel four. But as you can see, where we want this effect, there is nothing to have that effect on. So you're gonna to to take the original clip and you're gonna to to copy paste it to that channel. So this is what I want to have the effect on. This is where it says, he caught it, let's go. I'm gonna drag and drop that original clip and we're gonna copy it into audio four. The only problem is if we play this exactly the way it is, though it does have the effect at the bottom, it's gonna be doubled of the same audio. So it's gonna be really loud. Imagine if someone said, go, go, go over here. And someone says, go, go, go. At the same exact time, it's gonna be insanely loud. It's gonna increase the volume. That's a bad example, but you get what I'm saying. So you wanna take the original clip and wanna bring it slightly down, maybe like, two or three decibels. So now when we play this clip, you're gonna hear the effect. You're still gonna hear what he's saying, but it's gonna be more energetic, more hype. It's gonna bring out the emotion in this part of the video. 100% gotta go for this. Barry on the angle, Julio, we're looking for Barry. Looking for Barry. He's got it. He's got it. Let's go. Big time. I feel- Hey, that's all we have for today's video. If you liked today's video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you for the next one.